<laughs> okay. Okay, Dad. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, this is pretty uh, pretty exciting project here. This is something first time for uh, for us on this particular platform. We got a 2007 Land Cruiser 100 Series. 07. For all you Land Cruiser nerds, you know that there's barely an existence that are made in 2007. There, that's the last year I believe of the 100 Series. So having one here. Having one to work on is amazing. So we're juiced about this build because we are gonna be converting this thing to SAS, solid axle suspension. So front suspension right now is IFS, torsion bars, boring. Fortunately for other countries uh, overseas, they got a solid axle version of this truck uh, elsewhere. We didn't get one, we that's, got the boring. That's the 105, right? 105, yeah. This The 100 series in the US only came with, with torsions in the front and shocks. So not a lot of travel questionable ride quality um, well and especially uh, not very uh, exciting uh, to work on the uh, torsion bar so we're gonna be cutting everything out putting a Land Cruiser 80 series axle now the goal the goal for this build is gonna be OEM plus plus so there's OEM plus <coughs> this is gonna be OEM plus plus particularly because we're gonna be using as much as uh, uh, 80 components as we can so we're gonna be using 80 series axle along with 80 series radius arm so we are gonna be doing a 12 inch coilovers in the front, uh, but the radius arms are staying simply because we're gonna try this thing, keep this build very lean and efficient. Now, this truck uh, had a major head start, air B front bumper, it's got a lift, it's got 33s, it's got front and rear lockers, air B compressor, it's got sliders, it's got a bunch of stuff already done to it. We're gonna take this thing to a next level with 37 inch tires, so. Continuing with the OEM theme, we're going to be converting it to an 80 series uh, front steering box. So uh, factory racks getting cut out, 80 series box going in. Along with the uh, new set of gears, lockers, and all that jazz. There's going to be, I'm sure, more stuff, but let's get this thing in the shop and get going. I love the rear end. Sick. With the newer tail I like the new lights, yeah, yeah. Picking up some axles for the 100 series build. So, this is 80 FJ80 axles front and back. So, we don't need the rear, but it's a package deal. So, we'll have something else. But we're really here for this, for this uh, front end here. Got everything that we need. All right. You know, what, you know what, uh, Stellar Build? You know what shop Stellar Build? Yeah, I heard of it, man. You guys do a live things on these crawlers too? Or yeah, no? for sure. Yeah. All day. Yeah, this is for a project for uh, we have for a hundred series. So. Okay. 
We're doing a solid axle conversion. I just need an 80 axle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing is. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Axles acquired. Axles acquired. Thanks, dude. And it's right hand drive, dude. What's up? Hello, JDM AF. That kind of clean, dude. That's a Mercedes. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying, little update here. We got the 100 series Land Cruiser with an 80 series Land Cruiser axle. We cut all the IFS out, frames completely cleaned up. I made some radius arm mounts to accept the factory radius arms that these 80 series. So run. this is going to be like an OEM plus because you're yeah, still retaining that. Pretty much OEM plus. The radius not, arms are still in place. Yeah, not doing a three link super crazy rock crawler type build. When I was looking at the bushings though, I did notice they are offset bushings. Yeah, so these are Dobinson's bushings to correct caster when you lift a truck. So the front one goes higher and the rear one goes lower to give the axle more caster as it goes down farther. So hopefully by the time this thing gets lifted a little bit more than a factory one would have, it should be good. But I'm also experimenting with a different axle that wasn't meant for this truck. Had to make my own radius arm mounts. Something pretty simple and straightforward. So the 80 axles are narrower than the 100 series rear axle is. So not only do you need to make up the width, but this is an adapter to go from six lug to five lug like he already had. So I got the axle in place, mounted my steering box roughly. Obviously the frame's not plated yet, but the goal is to Try and have everything incorporated in the frame plate uh, preset locations to make it somewhat of a kit easier to do later on. Kit? Yeah. You mentioned kit? Kit. That's the word on the street, in okay. the office at least. Okay, okay. Everything that I'm making for this is supposed to be easily replicated for if anyone wants to do this swap. Get rid of that IFS and then get yourself one of these. Well, I guess it's gonna be up to you to make that uh, user-friendly then, right? Yeah, I have to try and figure out how to make it work and then also make it work for somebody else. Easier. I'm moving along here. Let's figure it out one piece at a time. All right. See where I end up. What's next? I just pre-drilled the frame. No sleeves in it yet or anything. Just mocked it up with some bolts so it's in place where I want it. Now I can build a drag link and then I'll build a pan hard, trying to achieve as much up travel as I can without getting too crazy because this owner wanted it to sit as close to stock, or at least as close as it was when it came in, when it leaves. What a stock one would look like, basically. Yeah. I don't know, this thing might have been lifted a little bit, but we don't want it super tall. I don't want to try and keep it low. So yeah, All right. I'm gonna see what I can come up with. Nice.
catch you up here. Yeah. I have the entire front end steering and suspension mocked up. Everything's hooked up. Steering box is in place. Shaft is connected to the steering column. Um, all the links are in. Shock towers are in. Shocks are located. Bump stops located. So now that it's all set up. So just basic, basic solid bumps? Yeah, just regular rubber boys. Just the minimum to get you by. All that you need really. The bare necessities. So now we're gonna put it on the ground for the first time, check ride height. And since it's got radius arms, it's pretty hard to flex when it's up in the air. You need a lot of weight to like really fight the bind. So I'm gonna try and get the forklift in here and give it a real flex test. <sighs> Let's see how it looks, man. It's always a riveting experience. Please don't sit like a monster truck. Please don't sit <laughs> like a monster truck. <laughs> So good. Hey, look at it. Dang, look at that. Look at that. Stock ride height, man. I was kind of worried that it'd be a lot taller. But I made enough room for up travel without getting too crazy like I normally uh -huh, would. Uh -huh. If people didn't know, they'd have no clue. Apparently, they make trucks like this that already come yeah. <laughs> with a solid axle, so but we don't one, have that over here in the, this country. It's the 105, right? Yeah. So I had to make my own 105 out of a 100. Hey, look at it. Well, uh, let's get the Flexmaster 3000 in here. All right. We've got to move some stuff. We've got to move the dirty yeah. 30. I mean, CJ has to stop what he's doing, too. CJ, get your welder out of here. Let's, let's get a sneak peek of this pretty little thing right here. Woo! Wow. From scratch. Yeah, homemade. Just like grandma and grandpa's biscuits. <laughs> So this, this thing is going on that crazy contraption. Coming later, 2024. Hey, bitch, I'm from Texas. Wrong side. Wrong side, oh. oh wow, did you really just do that? <laughs> this guy. Wow, this is America, bro, come on. <laughs> oh, coming. Jesse, is that you? Roll that coal, brother. How are you literally gonna say my joke <laughs> 10 seconds after I said it, man? All right, so the 100 series is on the ground on all fours. We're at a point where we have to flex this thing out and just text, uh, check for clearances, see how the tires, uh, how much room they have. So we are gonna be running a bigger set eventually, but at least working what we have here, we're just gonna see a quick little flexeroo with our Flex Master 3000, see where this thing uh, comes in. But you can see this thing looks stock. I mean, right? Does, do you, can you it tell this thing solid yeah, axle? It looks really nice. I was gonna say, if you didn't know, you'd have no clue. Yeah, exactly. So that, that was kind of the goal with this build, kind of stealth uh, stealth look, but everything is much beefier than the IFS that came with the stock. So, all right. all right, Adam, let's do the thing. Is it tacked or welded? Oh, it's all it's tacked. tacked. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. He said it's good. It ain't my first rodeo. It's his third rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> First two were good, yeah. third one's a yeah. question. <laughs> yeah. Damn, see, it's already better than IFS right here. Oh, shit. Damn, son. Ah, that's it. That's all she got. Looking good so far? Yeah. Flex is whatever, bro. He, he the was angle. already thinking 
process. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> what? So much torque that the chassis quick. Yeah. Okay, so we're at a point of the build where everything's tacked up, everything is positioned in place. Next is we're gonna take everything apart. We're gonna do a final weld through as well as paint everything throughout to make sure it's uh, ready for final assembly. Now, I hope you guys understand that at the end of the day, this was a relatively budget-friendly build using OEM components. I know you're probably used to seeing us doing three-link conversions, lot of big coilovers, bump stops, all this crazy steering and all that, uh, hydro assist. The goal of this build was to kind of use OEM parts and make the build as fast and efficient as possible. Now on this build, we did use a set of 80 series axles with a set of adapters going from a six to five lug to match the rear axle. Now, for sure, it will be nice to use a, a nice set of custom fabricated axles to, made, to match the width of the truck with, uh, with the proper bolt pattern and all that. Again, this was a fast and efficient part, uh, build using parts that you can just take off of a donor truck. For the use of this truck, just a set of adapters will do just fine. On that note, we are planning to run a set of 37s for this truck, so the overall stance and the look of the truck is definitely going to transform once everything is put together. Stay tuned for the follow-up on this build when we're all done. We're going to take this thing for a spin, give some initial driver feedback how the, stuck, how the truck feels on the road. Uh, and before it ships out to Florida, we'll do a nice little flex a little flex test to make sure everything clears and looks good. If you made it this far on our channel, I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys watching everything that we do so far. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the likes and comments. I highly recommend watching all of our other videos, all the crazy crawler stuff that we do. Check it out and I'll catch you guys in the next one.